Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and today we are just chatting a bit about a little bit of everything that's going on. We are still battling COVID-19. Uh, better known as the coronavirus, although the coronavirus is actually a name dealing with a whole type of virus. And it should be recognized as COVID-19 instead of just coronavirus. Because there are other viruses that are coronaviruses. But it's what happens. Uh, it's the way our society views things. Um, we've also had, it was like four or five uh, members of Congress, I think they were all senators, that were caught for uh, selling stocks before the coronavirus, basically insider trading. And uh, they was it was four or five of them. I can't remember the total number of who it is. Uh, let's see. Most of them were Republican, but there was also the Democrat Dianne Feinstein. Honestly, they should be all forced to leave office because of this. You know, if you're going to sell stocks because you get information that you know, others won't benefit from. You're getting this information first and using it to benefit, especially in times of health crises. Crises. Yeah. But uh, Diane Feinstein, Kelly Loeffler, I think, um, the guy from Carolina, Burr, he was also North Carolina, um, Senator Burr, I can't remember, Richard Bill Burr or something like that. But those seem to be the three main uh, names. The four senators. Let me see who the fourth one is. Those are the three names that always come up, though. Burr, Feinstein, and Loeffler. Richard Burr, Diane Feinstein, Kelly Loeffler, and Jim Inhofe. So yeah, three Republicans and one Democrat. Sold large amounts of stock before the stock market crashed due to concerns about the coronavirus pandemic. Leading to concerns of insider trading. So yeah, that, that's kind of been going on. Let me see if they have any new uh, information on this. Uh, do, 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 do.
nothing I can see. Um, do, 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 do. It's just been in the last couple of days. But yeah, this, this has been one of the big stories. The insider trading of these four senators. And frankly, I do believe they should be removed from office for this behavior. But yeah. Because if, if you're going to do something like that, Sad thing is, they, they probably won't be punished at all. They're rich. And they're in positions of power. These people almost never, never have to pay the price for doing what they do. That's the sad thing. But anyway. Yeah. What else has been kind of happening. So many things are shutting down. Restaurants. Um, they can now deliver, but you're not supposed to go. Let's see. We were seeing for Tennessee, you they can now deliver, but you're not supposed to go in. Um, where I'm from, there are I think two confirmed cases. Just because it's such a rural and a rural area that hardly anybody comes to. And that's in a neighboring county. It's not even hit this county yet. And we've already had people panic buying, blah, 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 oh my goodness, I gotta buy as much toilet paper and milk and e eggs and everything I can. <laughs> oh, people. Just idiots. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, yeah. What else did I want to kind of talk about? Congress clashing on trying to bring about a bill to serve as coronavirus, as a coronavirus relief package. Uh, frankly, you should either ban the two parties or allow other parties in. Because the way it is now, they don't work with each other. They don't want to try to work with each other. They just want to blame each other. You want to... Basically, you want to backhand both of them. why I like Bernie. They cry, oh, he's not a Democrat. I'm glad he's not a damn Democrat. Some of y'all corrupt as hell. But whatever. What do I know? Huh. <sighs> Honestly, though, sometimes it feels like we just need to ban political parties, period, and have you have them run individually as their own person. Parties be banned. That, or we do some reforming so that other parties have a chance to get voted into Congress. Right now, there are rules in place that keep them from getting 
into Congress. Unless they really exceed certain amounts. And right now it's just difficult. On better news, it feels like spring is here. We see blooms, well, at least here, where I live. We can see blooms on the trees. Uh, the tree outside my door here, outside the porch, pink blooms all over it. So, yeah. It, it, spring feels like it has sprung, even though it's just late March. I remember as a kid, sometimes it's snowing into April. So it could still come a cold snap. But as it sits right now, it, yeah, it feels like spring has sprung. Although, to be fair, this winter hasn't been, last few winters haven't been winters. I think this winter we had one real bad cold uh, spell. A couple of soft snows. Like I said, when I was a kid, I remember there being several snows in the winter. It being cold all the time. In when I was a young man, about 22, 21, 22, when I was first living on my own, I used kerosene heat. I remember going out in the cold when it was zero degrees, bundled up to get kerosene. I don't think it's hit single digits the last several years. I remember it being, at times, really bad when I was young, but here the last couple winters have been so mild. And honestly, I just get the feeling it's because of um, climate change. I mean, it's become so much more mild. the last few years during the winter. We can see in scale of the data being kept that each winter has been getting warmer year by year on average. Oh well. But for now, it looks like uh, spring has sprung. Anyway, that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about for now. As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. If anybody um, tries to tell you something that you don't quite believe, tell them to cite their sources. We need to start having facts become part of our discussions again. I'll see you all Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. 
Until then. Later.